Hey, Stacy. Well, a Lyle Station farmer from back in the day is the subject of the next presentation of the Broadway Players of Princeton, Indiana. Today, Stanley Madison is here of Lyle Station, and Kelly Ballhoffner is the production manager. You're just kind of wearing all the hats in the world and on the board. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So tell us about the idea behind the show. I mean, why you chose this particular production. Well, it's actually been in the works for a little while. Um, we have, every couple of years, we collaborate with Lyle Station, and we have uh, a night at the museum uh, presentation. Last, uh, 2022, it was Fugitives and Heroes, and uh, this, Stan has been, been talking to James Creer, who is the actor who uh, apparently has not adjusted to the timing from well, California you know, to here. You'll have um, that. <laughs> but they've, they've been talking for a little while about this, and it's it, being that it is about Alonzo, and Alonzo grew up in Lyle Station, it was time to bring him home to Gibson County. Well, I think it's a lovely idea, and I'm excited about the possibilities. Well, Stan, tell us a bit of Alonzo's story. <laughs> tell you a little of Alonzo's story. Well, he was just a youngster that was ambitious and thought his uh, life was going to be wrapped around the, the music world. But, uh, you know, the pathway down the road, we never know the left and the right. And he ended up uh, finally getting to the White House and took the job on. And he was such an outstanding young man that uh, he lasted through four presidents. So that was pretty an exception. And we've all thought much many, many times about uh, Alonzo and the, you know, the career he had and uh, exciting. And he's been back to Lyle Station several times, so. Well, what did he do for the presidents he served? Well, he had to be the go-to guy. He had to be able to fulfill all the shoes of making sure the president was on top of everything. He had to be there to make sure that the red carpet was rolled out the right food, the right connections. So he had a very important part to play at the White House. Well, it's so interesting to think about something, a person with one president, but to span mm -hmm. four oh, yeah. elected off officers like yes. that, and they kept him there because mm -hmm. he must have been, as my dad would say, a whiz-bang in what he was doing. Well, so yes. the, the play is this story, then, of Alonzo's career. Right, and um, it's actually based on the journals that he wrote pretty much his entire life. Um, James Steele, who was the playwright, will, which will actually he will actually be here as well. Um, he wrote it for the Indiana Repertory Theater, and it is based on those journals and just his time in the White House. So he talks about a, you know, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff as well as food that was served and people that he met while he was there. Fascinating stories for everyone to read and a lot of history as well. So the show goes up. Uh, so the show actually starts uh, on Friday, is opening night, uh, the 21st and the 22nd, it's at 7 p.m. Uh, we do have a dinner that uh, I believe we might have two tickets left for that <laughs> Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> what a good problem um, to have. And then Sunday show is at 2. Uh, we've also got uh, several things going on in preparation for it. Uh, we've got out at Lyle Station, we've got a Juneteenth celebration that, uh, and then a dress rehearsal for students on Wednesday night. And then on Saturday from 1 to 3, James Steele will be doing a writer's master class. Wow. Yes. So we've, we've got a lot of things going on to help celebrate this. Uh, Alonzo's family is coming. So it's, it's going to be a, a big celebration and a lot of fun. Well, thank you both yes. for the work you do to make sure that this story is told and we can all uh, celebrate the life yeah. of Alonzo. Well, thank, thank you, you for thank having you. us. Anytime. <laughs> we'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Please stay with us.